uh, Gunnery Sergeant R. Lee Ermy here. Listen up. Ever wonder how warriors on the battlefield went from throwing stones to this? Well, then this is your lucky day. Oh, oh yeah. In this episode of Lock and Load, it's all about the evolution of machine guns. 100% kill ratio. That's right. The kind of mayhem that began the moment some Yahoo added machine to gun. All right. And figured out that meant he could shoot faster than the other guy. Oh, ho, ho. that's what I'm talking about. So put your shooting glasses on, your earplugs in, and brace yourself, honey. It's time to lock and load. The gun is a warrior's number one weapon. But for most of gun history, they're slow loading and slow firing. In fact, right up until the American Civil War in the 1860s, this is as good as it gets. That was about to change. I'm out here in the middle of the Arizona desert at the biggest machine gun show on Earth, the Big Sandy Shoot. The entire history of the machine gun comes to life out here every year. It's like being in a machine gun museum, only louder. They're all here, air-cooled, water-cooled, belt-fed, magazine-fed. Recoil actuated, gas operated, automatic, semi-automatic. Now you're probably wondering, where do we start? Well, all right, my little darlings, listen up. Any story about the machine gun has got to start with the granddaddy of them all. 1862, the Gatling gun, caliber 58, range 1,200 yards. Rate of fire, 200 rounds per minute. So who do we have to thank for the world's first successful machine gun? An American named Dr. Richard J. Gatling. This monster could spit lead faster than any gun on the planet, but technically speaking, it is not a true automatic weapon. It requires human power to get it cranking. You gotta use these guns to fire this gun. Dr. Gatling had big hopes for his big gun, saying, and I quote, that it would enable one man to do as much battle duty as a hundred, superseding the necessity of large armies. That part didn't quite work. A buddy of mine knows all about the Gatling. This is history nut Steve Tanner. Steve. Tell me about your baby. Well, this is an 1890 Colt Gatling gun. We've got 10 barrels, the classic 10 barrel design. The crank on the right side basically rotates those barrels. This is actually 10 guns. You got to smile when you look at this. Yeah. This thing is a masterpiece. There's no question about it. Here's what makes this gun a breakthrough. There's a barrel and a bolt for each new round. Each fires consecutively as it hits an automatic trigger. As you turn the handle, gravity feeds in round after round. Each is loaded, fired, and their cartridge ejected over and over again. This design also breaks through the heat barrier. You see, any fired round heats up the barrel because of friction.